In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to complete the Eigen questline and get Dragon Form in the new Elden Ring DLC. It's a super easy to follow guide and will teach you everything you need to know. So let's get right into it. First of all, we need to go ahead and travel up the map. We need to start off at the Gravesite Plain, head over to the Scorched Ruins, Three Paths Cross, Castle Front, and then down to the Pillar Path Waypoint. From there, we can make a short journey forwards and we're going to speak to Igon. Now, if you've already killed him, then he won't be there. If not, he'll be around here. It isn't necessary to actually find him here, but you can start the quest off by speaking to him at this point. Now you want to follow this path along to the very end. Feel free to fast forward it. Now at some point on the journey, you might go ahead and encounter a invader. You're going to have to go ahead and defeat him so that we can get through the cave. So go ahead, fight him and defeat him. Okay, so now that we're in the cave, we're going to go ahead and make our way through and we're going to come out the other end. It's a pretty easy cave to get through, but just be careful. There's also a few sites of graces along the way that you might as well pick up. Follow my route and feel free to fast forward at this point. Once you get to the end of the cave, you're going to have to take a leap of faith and jump into the abyss. You'll continue falling and eventually you'll reach the bottom, which is where you can carry on making your way through the cave. At this point, you're going to have to go through here and you'll have to go ahead and fight a mini boss. Once you've done that, you'll be able to make your way further through the cave and you'll be able to leave at the exit. There's also a site of grace on the way, so make sure to pick this up. Now from here, we have to travel a little bit further, but just follow where I go. There should be a message at the top of this hill that you want to go ahead and read. Now we're going to head back down the hill and continue on our journey. You can fight this dragon here, although I'm not sure if it's needed. Upon killing the dragon, you want to go ahead and follow my route. We've now reached the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion, a key point in this questline. 
From here, we want to go ahead and speak to this NPC here, and we're going to be exhausting their dialogue. She's now going to touch our head, and she's going to give us the Ancient Dragon's Blessing, which is essential for continuing with the questline. Ask about Bale until the dialogue options are exhausted, and then we can continue on our journey all the way to this location. Feel free to fast forward this part of the journey. Along the way you might as well pick up the map piece if you haven't already done so, just to make it a little bit easier to navigate. Then follow me until we get to the next location. Once you get up here you're going to see two dragons battling it out and at some point you're going to have to go ahead and defeat them. So you can let them wear each other's health down a little bit first but then you have to go and do the final blows. Once you do that you're going to hear some laughing. You want to walk slightly up the hill and you're going to meet with Igon. Exhaust the dialogue until he gives you this item. Now we need to journey to the next point.
We need to go ahead and beat the ancient dragon Senesax, and it's pretty difficult. But if you'd like to shortcut this, I have a video on my channel explaining how you can do that. Once you beat it, he's going to drop some important items, and then we can continue on with the journey. So just follow along now and feel free to skip forwards. It's now time to face Bale the Dread, and I'm going to be honest, he's a pretty hard boss. It took me around two days to actually defeat him, but this is key for actually receiving the rewards. I highly recommend picking up the Bolt Drake Talisman plus 3, as this will help negate lightning damage. Once you defeat it, it's going to go ahead and drop you an item called the Heart of Bale. At this point you want to go back to the foot of the Jagged Peak, and we're going to go and see where Igon is. You're going to see his body on the floor, along with loads of items that you can collect. Next we want to go back to the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion, and this is where we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the items. You can walk over to this pink thing, and you can interact with it. If you click on the option Communion with Bale, you're going to have these options for these two different items. Now, just note you can only collect one of them per playthrough, so just select the one that you want because you won't be able to get the other one. And finally, to get the rest of the items, including the one to make you dragon form, go to the right hand side and pick them up. Just a note, you can't be wearing any armour if you want to go ahead and use it, and you can't use it in the region of the dragon communion. But go ahead and enjoy the new items. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below that it helped, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about any games.